my hook here called a J hook or shepherd's hook and I put in the clockwise direction around the screw terminals. I'd make sure the wire is secured using a screwdriver. Here I'm using the ECX number one. I would tighten that down and because I put it in the clockwise direction, it's going to pull the wire in opposed to push the wire out as you tighten up. Now what you like to see is you do not like to see insulation past the end of the housing because that could equal a fault later on if you have exposed copper, especially when you're on your hot side. Then if a ground or something comes in contact or the housing from a metal electrical box comes in contact, you can create an issue. Now let me show you what would happen if I actually just used the wire stripper gauge here and only stripped off that much wire. Let me show you the issue if you're using it for side wire. And this one isn't too bad, but what you start to see is you're gonna to start to pinch insulation underneath your screw terminal. It's not a showstopper. This terminal will work and probably work for a long time, but now you have a possibility maybe it to work loose over time after the insulation maybe heats up over time. It's just better like on our neutral side to have all copper underneath that. It's just gonna be a better overall installation. So it also should be noted that if you have unused terminals, before you put the outlet back in the box, go ahead and tighten down those screw terminals. It's just best practice and you can see it thins up the profile of your outlet. So go ahead and tighten down all those unused terminals and that's just gonna, again, be best practice and hopefully avoid issues in the future. And then for your ground, probably goes without saying, but it's just gonna be something very similar. And then just to show the completed outlet, we'll go ahead and do a shepherd hook on our ground. Again, in the clockwise direction. Let me know if you have any questions down below the video in the comments, and now you at least have a better understanding of how to do side wiring on a standard residential outlet. That was a good starting point, but you should dive much, much deeper if you're gonna really get into DIY electrical. There's many codes you need to understand, and you wanna make sure you're doing it safely. You can check out this video right here. I'll walk you through a lot more on the tools that you should have, both on the troubleshooting diagnostic side and just screwdrivers, wire strippers, et cetera, in addition to a few other options you have for outlets and light switches. If you want to see what I carry in my standard Milwaukee Packout Kit, which covers about 90% of any projects I get into, you can check out this video right here. I'll walk you through everything that I carry on hand, which might help you out on your future projects. So thanks for joining me on this video, and we'll catch you on one of those next ones. Take care.